Agent Squad. Welcome back to Soul of Is It Worth It? Today's episode, we got this cool thing here. Imagine what these are as a wall charger. You can see right here, we do have two different designs, and both of them are from the same exact brand. But when you guys do look at the size difference with both of them, you can definitely see the difference on here. The bottom one right here is longer than the top one. The top one probably guys a max of 100 watts, and this is 120. The one issue that I have about the longer one like this is the fact that when you guys do plug it in, especially if you guys don't have an outlet like this, if you guys plug in the wall outlet like this, the weight that's on here, it kind of pushes down. So that's why when you guys purchase this product, they do give you guys one of these for you guys to use with a suction option for you guys to put it through. So just like this. So that way when you guys do use it, you guys can put this against the wall and help you guys suck it against the wall to hold it in place. But usually when you guys do use it, not everything that you guys plug in has a suction option that's compatible. So that's one of the downside about the 121 from the previous version and some of the other one that I believe was like 100 watts or something that has a similar design where it's like so long. The new one for this one, you can see how smaller it is and it's not as long when you guys look at it, which is definitely a lot better when you guys do use it. But in terms of what you guys do get, it's about the same. Both of them, they do probably guys the USB option, 1-1, one, one, and then 2 USB-C, 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two. And when you guys look at it from this size right here, you can see how much bigger it is just by a little bit. So they kind of like shortened it from right here, but they made it a little bit more wider in this direction when you guys do look at it. But for both of them, they still have the foldable plug in the back. So that way it's actually very compact when you guys are not using it, which is really nice. So feel free to open it if you guys do want to and put it away when you're done. And then both of them, you can see how it does tell you guys that it does have the GAN Pride technology and it's from the Anchor brand. So because both of these, it does have the GAN Pride technology, it allows you to be much smaller than your typical wall charger. Like if you guys ever have like the Apple wall charger that's like 100 watts, it's like the size of two of these combined, you can see. Whereas with this one right here, it's so small and compact that it's not as big as those, which makes it a lot easier for you to bring along when you guys traveling or something. And then in terms of the design or the materials on here, it's about the same, you can see. It does look like a high quality material that looks very futuristic as well, but it still uses like recycled material to be very eco-friendly, which is really awesome. So that is pretty much what it actually looks like for both of these when you guys do get it. One do right now is to plug it in to show you guys how it does work in terms of the power it does provide for each one of them. Oh, and before I forget to mention, for both of these products, it also has the Active Shield 2.0. So that way it gives you guys that protection if you guys do leave it charging overnight for your iPhone, your laptop, or anything else. So really cool, it does have the built-in safety feature on here for the overcharge protection, over voltage protection, and etc. Which is really nice. But now let's try out both of them. Let's try the older one first. So for this test, I'm going to plug it into this brand new uh, charging station from the Anchor brand. This is the Anchor Prime 140 watts charging station. So they do have six port on here two AC option and two USB option and two USB-C. They mentioned if you guys do plug in the USB-C option, it can pry you guys up to 140 watts, which is a lot of power when you guys do use that. Even more than both of these that I'm showing you guys right now. And the way how to design this part right here, it does have a hidden uh, design. You can see how it's like inside, but once you guys plug it in, it pops out. And if you guys do unplug it, it goes back in, which is really cool. And also the way how they design this product is actually very cool how it does have the display on here to show you guys how much power is being used. So here's the first option. If you guys do press the button on the side, it changes to another display to show you guys each one of them. And this is in watts. If you guys press it again, it shows you guys the voltage. So really cool how it does probably have that option available on here. But now let's try it out and see how it does work. So right here we do have plugged in. Other side will plug it into my uh, laptop. So right here, I do have my MacBook Pro 16 inch running and we do have connected to Apple cable. So if I do plug it in, let me actually use my tester because it won't show you guys how much power it does provide. So here we do have the tester. If you guys do plug it in, once you guys plug it in, it starts charging. Let me see how the number is going up. So right now it's providing around 88 watts. So that's a lot of power when you guys do use it, but it doesn't go as high as 100. Like I mentioned, the max on here is 120 for everything together. But when you guys only plug in one at a time, the max on here is 100 watts. So it does get very close to uh, 90 watts, but I don't think it go any higher than that because of the built-in safety feature on here. And in order for you to get that speed on here, it does depend on your battery percentage on your device. So if your laptop is around like 20% or 10%, it'll give you guys a fast charging speed. But if it's around like 80% or any higher than that, it will slow down the charge. So keep that in mind for any kind of like uh, wall charger when you guys do use that. But while we're charging this, let me plug in another cable to see what happens when you guys do plug in more than one device at the same time. So for the other one, we're going to plug in my MacBook Air right here. 
So I do have another USB-C cable. So let's do plug it in. Once you guys plug it in, it resets the charge on here. And then see how the number is going down. So it doesn't provide you guys as much power as earlier. Right now it's providing around 56 watts when you guys do use it because it's splitting the power between the USB-C option here and the other one. But then see when you guys do use it, it definitely does work. So feel free to plug in one or two or three devices at the same time. And like I mentioned, the way how to design the product, if you see how it's tilting already, because the weight that's pulling it down, that's the one issue that I had about like the older version, how it's so long. And that's why they give you guys the accessory. So keep that in mind when you guys do purchase one of these. Now I'm actually unplug it and do the same thing for the other one. All right, so let's do open up, plug it in, plug in our first one first. Once you guys plug it in, it does work. And you guys can see how the number is going up. So with this one also probably guys around 87 watts or 88 watts, you can see. So it's about the same power when you guys do use it. But for this one, when you guys do plug it in, you can see how the weight that's on here is not pulling it down. Because the way how I designed this one is a little bit smaller than the older version. But now let's plug in another cable at the same time to see what happens. So once you guys do plug it in, you can see how the number on here went down as well. And it's slowly going up and down. So right now it's showing that it's providing around 31 watts. But just to be sure, let me actually try to unplug it and see what happens. Because right now we're using the one for the iPhone. If you can see on the wall chart right here, it does label the top one for laptop and this is for phone. That's probably why it's not providing as much power. So we'll switch it. So you see how there's a new number on here. So when you guys do charge it like this, it's providing around 60 watts. So probably you guys around the same power when you guys do use it. So same thing for this one, feel free to plug in one, two, or three devices at the same time if you guys do want to. Just keep in mind that if you guys do plug in more than one at a time, the power that's on here, it does spread out. And even right now when you guys do use it, you can see how stable the product is. So you don't have to worry about it tilting or falling down, not like the other one. So now that we show you guys what both of them look like, let me show you guys what it looks like on here when you guys do plug it in, for those of you guys who are curious, to show you guys how much power this provides. So that way, if you guys want to get this as well, feel free to check it out. So let's unplug it and unplug these as well. Now let's give it a try for the uh, actual product here. So we'll plug it in here. Once you guys plug it in, you can see how the number goes up. And it does pop up this logo right here or symbol to let you guys know that it's providing you guys a fast charging speed when you guys do use it. So you can see how the number went up so much higher when you guys do use on here. It's probably you guys way more than 100 watts, which is pretty awesome. So right now it's providing around 128 when we do use it. Compared to earlier when we do use it on the other two wall charger, it only probably you guys uh, 88 or 87 watts. So there's a huge difference on here when you guys use the charging station. And if you guys do plug in another cable, let me show you guys what happens. So it starts reset on here, but if I do press some button on side, it will show you guys a different display to show you guys how much power it does provide for each one of the output. So currently for the MacBook Pro, it provides you guys around 61 or 62 watts, and the MacBook Air providing around 38 watts. When you guys do split the power on here, you can see. So when you do split the power on here, it does provide you guys a little bit less compared to what you guys do see earlier. But when you guys do compare it to how much power it does provide without the output, there's a huge difference. They went from 128 to only 61 or 62 watts, you can see. So it still probably got a lot of power, but just not as much when you guys do use it. So if you guys are interested in this product, feel free to check it out. Honestly, this is one of my favorite charging station at the moment in terms of what you guys do get, especially because of how much power it does provide when you guys do use it to charge up like a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or any other device that's compatible with the USB-C option. But that's pretty much everything that's on the product. Now that we show you guys what it actually looks like for both of them and how it does work, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not and which one the better option to go for. So you can see when you guys do test out product for both of them, it does provide a lot of power. But when you guys really test out both of them in terms of plugging one output or two output at the same time, it's about the same in terms of how much power it does provide. It's just a size difference when you guys do use it. This one's a lot smaller compared to this one. And this one won't really tilt as much compared to this one when you guys do use it. So keep that in mind. So you can't go wrong with either one of these. It's definitely a high quality wall charger that you guys do get for either one of these. But if you guys want my honest opinion in terms of which one the better option to go for, it's pretty obvious that the new one right here in terms of 100 watts is a lot better option to go for. Especially since the max that's on here is 100 watts if you guys use a single output, which is pretty much the same thing as what you guys get on here. And as you can see how when you guys do split it, it's about the same uh, charge speed on here when you guys do use two of the output at the same time. 
So this is obviously the best option to go for as of right now in comparison to a lot of other uh, similar products out there in the market today from the Anchor brand. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money to something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.